The Red Rooster Food Store has been in business 28 years. These are all winners. Yeah, about time, eh? And the owners know many customers on a first name basis. He pursued toward to the Bitcoin machine and he looked all confused. So when co-owner Priya Badisha saw a customer on the phone struggling with the Bitcoin machine, she intervened. Global News has agreed to protect the victim's identity. He looked super frustrated and I went up to him and I'm like, sir, is there any, anything I can help you with? And um, he's like, yeah, can you show me how to use this machine? She could hear a person on the phone giving instructions to the man. I could hear him say, just tell her that I'm your financial advisor. And um, he sounded a little bit suspicious. I just know my instinct tells me something's not right. Badisha decided to call the White Rock RCMP, who arrived before the man completed the transaction. They put these signs on here, CRA and RCMP don't accept crypto. The RCMP say while this transaction was prevented, had it gone through, getting the money back would have been difficult. It is basically impossible. Uh, it's a very lengthy and difficult uh, investigation. RCMP say between January and March this year, $37.8 million was lost to crypto frauds in Canada. In BC, $7 million was reported lost, but only 10% of victims report a loss to police. Once the money enters the machine and, and the QR is scanned and that crypto is gone, it's gone forever. His advice to prevent falling victim to a crypto scam? If you're getting a cold text message from an unknown number, if you're getting a phone call from someone you don't know, just best to hang up or delete that message. Badisha says she'll continue to look out for her customers. I feel great anytime I can help somebody. It makes me feel better. Janet Brown, Global News.